What's going on guys, it's Rob from Heroes Avenue. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Uh, if you're like me, you probably woke up super excited because it's Tuesday and Tuesday is when the new full Shazam number two trailer was supposed to drop, right? Well, we didn't get that. So I was super hyped here, ready to do a trailer reaction for you guys this morning. But uh, we found out that there is going to be no trailer today. And uh, it's uh, it was heavily rumored. And a lot of you guys in my last Shazam video and in our Shazam vlog, which you have, if you haven't checked out, Darren and I did a vlog together. Um, uh, a lot of you guys let us know that, hey, there's supposed to be a trailer dropping Tuesday. Then I saw... Uh, the articles that talked about uh, Daniel RPK uh, on Twitter announced that there was going to be a Shazam trailer. So that's what we all thought, but no trailer. And David F. Sandberg had a hilarious reaction to some of the disappointment to that here. So I'll just share that with you really quick. So here he goes. He says, so David F. Sandberg is replying to um, Farty Rainbow. Says, is the new trailer coming in a few hours? That was me this morning. He goes, no, I don't know where this information came from. And then um, Julia, the ones who live, says, why are you doing us like this with a crying face? And then he goes, what did I do? I never said the trailer was coming out today. Uh, I thought that was pretty funny. Maybe it wasn't that funny after I read it. But I thought it was pretty funny when I read it this morning. Um, but we did get a cool little look via his Instagram, at Pony Smasher at uh, the practical effect from the trailer, uh, the teaser trailer that came out on, what was it, Sunday? Sunday now? Uh, and it looked pretty cool. Again, Dr. Zavanna has some powers in here. I don't remember having him having these powers. Uh, I always understood him as ha ha having the ability to see magic. I can't remember him having pow uh, powers in the comics like this, but um, it looks pretty cool. It is, uh, yeah, it's actually really cool. And in the background there, you see a Ferris wheel and um, uh, he he posts on his Instagram, fun fact, that Ferris wheel is not CGI. We destroyed a real one, but not before at Maxime Alexandre, Alexandre and I could take a ride. So um, if you if you click on the next script, you could see him taking a ride on that actual practical, <laughs> let me turn his volume lower, that practical uh, Ferris wheel. Pretty cool. They actually destroyed one. That's that's pretty nuts. I wonder how much money it costs just to make that actual Ferris wheel. Hopefully that scene, it looks like it's going to be a fun and incredible scene to watch in the theaters. I'm excited. Uh, of course, I'm super excited for this movie. I've already let you guys know that a lot. And I've been doing a lot of Shazam videos lately. And if you've been following all these Shazam videos, you know that in one of my videos, I asked you guys, uh, do you think... Well, actually... <laughs> I want to say this right now. This, from here, um, from this point on, there might be some spoilers in the video for the Shazam movie. So, click off if you don't want to hear any potential spoilers or likely spoilers. Um, they're not huge spoilers in my opinion, but some of you guys might not want to hear this. You might want to go into the movie fresh, so I will not, uh, or I will, so I will warn you right here. So, Step away or click away if you guys don't want any spoilers. This is the last warning. Okay, let's carry on. So if you guys have been following my Shazam videos, in one of my last videos, maybe like a, you know, a few videos ago, I asked you guys, do you think we are going to see the Shazam family? A lot of you guys thought it, we wouldn't because it should be a movie focused on Billy Batson, and I do agree it should be. Um, but, but a lot of you guys said there might be a good chance, and I thought there might be a good chance. Well, it looks like the merchandise might be spoiling that little secret. So um, the new Funko Pop figures, uh, pictures, images have released online. Zachary Levi has shown us his uh, figure via his Instagram post already. Looks awesome. Definitely adding mine to that, uh, that little stack right there. I got to grow my little baby stack of Funkos. But definitely this Shazam, uh, this Shazam uh, figure is going on there. I think it looks great. And uh, the other uh, images and pieces of merchandise that potentially spoiled uh, the surprise was that we have images of both Eugene and Darla uh, in, in their Funko Pop figures. Now, if you look on some websites, it, uh, it, has a, uh, it has a note, like right here on Heroic Hollywood, there's a note that says, Update, Darla and Eugene images removed at the request of Warner Brothers. And... Um, I, I was able to find those images 
uh, anyways so I will post those right here for you guys to check out since you did remain on the video if you want to check out these check out these images um, here they are um, I you know what I think they look cool I'm really excited I'm really excited that um, that we're gonna get the Shazam family uh, I think again they, they talked about how it was gonna be heavily inspired by the new 52 origin of Shazam and in the new 52 origin the Shazam family plays a crucial role uh, in that story so I'm really excited to see all of them really um, I'm glad we didn't get to see all of the figures yet um, but I imagine they're going to look very much like the the comic book the comic book version of them. So that's gonna be cool. Are we gonna get Tawny? I'm not sure yet. Um, but if they're going full comic book with this, I imagine we will get him too. So um, super excited for that. Um, I want to know what you guys think of this. Do you guys uh, does this does this inclusion of the Shazam family get you even more hyped for this movie? Because I know it does for me. Because uh, that teaser trailer, guys, can't talk enough about it. And some of you guys actually pointed out to me that uh, something that uh, both Darren and I missed, and it's probably all around the internet by now, but uh, the in, in the teaser, when you see in the beginning shots the, uh, the kid walking inside of the Rock of Eternity, you're meant to think it's uh, Billy Batson. And uh, when upon closer look, when you, when you pause the screen, maybe not that close of a look, uh, closer of a look, you can see that that's not Billy Batson, and a lot of people are thinking that um, that is going to be Dr. Savannah. So they're probably going to change up the story. Uh, Dr. Savannah potentially was a, a candidate for uh, the powers of Shazam. However, the wizard probably found that he was not worthy, and this is what uh, ultimately causes him to pursue these powers Um relentlessly throughout his life so i'm thinking that's probably the case or if it could be black adam that would be great because uh in the new 52 comic dr savannah talks about how um how there have been uh, there was a legend of of black adam and maybe there he's talking about he, he they're doing a flashback and he's talking about a history lesson for someone else as he explained in the comic so who knows? Uh, I, I'm leaning towards more Dr. Savannah, but let me know what you guys think about that clip right there. Who do you think it is? Do you think it's Savannah? Do you think it's Black Adam? Um, either, either way, I think we're going to get Black Adam in the future. I think it's pretty much a guarantee. This movie looks incredible. That teaser got me incredibly hyped. All those doubters, all the haters, man, I, I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably flipped by now, but you know, who knows? Uh, and I know we got to wait till the movie comes out to actually judge it, but I'm super hyped for this. So that's it is that is it for today, guys. Let me know what you think about all this stuff in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a like if you can. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.